Yeah. Outdoor Education is a program for our 7th grade students that allows them to come out here to Camp Sotera and experience it, a lot of classes and activities um, in just a different way. Uh, they have classes they wouldn't be able to necessarily have if they were back at school, like stream and the stream study, fishing at the pond, the orienteering course. Don't be like the tree who got lost. He took the wrong route. Okay? Don't be like the tree. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, awesome. The run was really fun for me. It was very tiring. Though. No, I thought, because I did track, I thought I was going to get through it, and I did. But, like, you kind of get side stitches after, so. Um, so the morning run was really fun and energizing. It was a short but awesome run. It was very, it was more difficult today than it was yesterday. We went longer? Um, yeah. We went more far than yesterday. Are you more awake now than you were yesterday? Um, yeah. Tired, because you just woke up. And it'll just make you better off during the day. Oh, it was pretty easy. I cleared it. 
Yeah, yeah, but three times. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty easy in the beginning, and then it got a little harder in the middle, and then at the end it was easy. It's kind of like tiring, but it was easy to like go down. And then coming up was harder. They were like cheering, especially the counselors at the end. They made like a little bridge. Uh, yeah, from my boy, where's Jack? Get in there. From my guy, Jack, because uh, he helped me the whole way through. So thank you, Jack. I just felt relaxing because it was in the morning, but it was a bit tiring because it's like really early in the morning. But you got through the pretty well. Yeah, I got through the well. Good. And you helped us again. Yeah. How did you help us? Oh, I just he stuck just, by him. He just stayed by like time. the same pace as me. Yeah, I, took, I was the same pace as him and everything. Yeah. Um, I liked it because I like running. enough for one day? Yeah. Uh, the run was like very difficult, um, so it was kind of far. But then I kept like pushing through so I can like get in the run fast enough, and it was really fun. And it was nice that it was cold out and not too hot. Uh, it was pretty fun, but you get pretty tired at the end afterwards. Hot, tiring. You had to run a lot. Yeah. Did you awake for the day? Yeah, definitely. How was the run? It was okay. okay. Exhausting. You're awake, you're awake now? Yeah. It was a little bit tiring, but after like I went through, I felt really good. Heat up. And are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, I go like this. And there's a fit. You got one. So, put your hand, and then take the fish up and put it in that white tub up there. Um, it's really fun. We get to like explore and catch some fish. So, yeah. It's a lot what, of fun. Else, what are you finding in your water here? Um, we're finding like we found a few um like different types of flies and we found fish. We got all, we caught like five fish. and we try to get as many bugs and creatures as we can. And what are you finding here? Uh, we found lots of crayfish. This one has, um, it's pregnant, it has eggs on it. Pregnant? Uh -huh. uh, we found uh, like 20 other crayfish, uh, salamanders, nymphs, and other stuff. What do you like this class? Uh, I like it because I can get into the water huh? and it's fun to just hang out with friends. It's really fun because we get to learn about like the different uh, types of creatures that are in the water and we get to try, it's fun because it's very hands-on that you get to try to get the animals and try to like learn more about them. You can't do this back at school? No, <laughs> it's very, out here it's a lot more hands-on activities. You like that? Yeah, it's really fun. It's been hot like lately and it's really fun and you can see what different fish look like. We're trying to catch uh, crayfish and minnows. Uh -huh. So far, we've caught a lot of them. Okay, baby, and crayfish. We've caught like nymphs and everything. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, we're trying to find fish in the water and seeing like what species species are here. Are you surprised what you're finding? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot more than He's we thought. Bad. Yeah. Is it fun, class? Oh, yeah, it's oh really fun, class. Why? Wow. Like, you, you like, get to go yeah, on the stream and, like, learn gosh. about different things. I still got him. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I Why? do. 
I don't know, it's just like fun to find all the new critters. Can you step down there and step on the door? Push three, right. Okay. Go outside and it's like, uh, you get to catch fish and it's really fun. Like, you get to learn a bunch of stuff about the wild and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little cool, but then you get used to it. Uh, it's pretty cool getting to see all the animals that are in the water that most people just overlook and they don't really pay much attention to. You take a scoop of rocks from that sand pile and then you wash them off and you can tell what rock this is. This is this is Smith's and I. You put them um, in the bowl, and then you shake out all the sand, rinse it out, and then you try to identify them. There's a lot of rocks that are really cool, and it's, we're oh, yeah. learning about minerals and certain rocks that maybe some people have seen, maybe some people haven't. I got all quartz though. Uh, all quartz? Yeah. Yeah. The only rock you had over there was quartz. Well, all I found was just quartz in my time. Um, I found like a golden kind of rock, and then I found like a some kind of quartz. We were like identifying the rocks. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of rocks did you identify? Um, I identified like some quartz and amethyst. Was that fun? Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. We get rocks out of sand, then we like file the sand out, and then we uh, then we like sort the rocks and like write them down what they are. You have to um, mine the cookie, and the amount of like whole chocolate chips you get like count as more than like the partial ones. But you have to like pay for the cookie and like all your tools. You break up the cookies, and then um, you get chocolate chips out of them, and then you get the chocolate chips. You have to get the chocolate chips without using your hands. I think I'm going really good. <laughs> uh. I don't really know, I just kind of like shove them to the side. You buy your tools and you want to make a profit off the chocolate chips from as many as you get. Mm -hmm. So in the end, you have as much money to use all your tools. How much did you get? Well, I had 19 chocolate chips and I made a $21 profit. Well, we had to like mine for chocolate chips and stuff to see how much we could get, the profit, so yeah. How much profit did you get? 31. That's good? Yeah, Not pretty good. Alright, so, uh, I am Mr. Office, most of you have never seen me before. This is I'm a, uh, I am the teacher, 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 like fun ways through different lenses. The student will begin to revolve around the sun in an oval shape. You're gonna start uh, Just really kind of make it really interesting. It's something they don't get to experience anywhere else. Uh, so it's really fun to watch them go in and just be amazed at what like is on the inside. It's nice to have this, this device here, this star line here. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I was blown away when I set it up because it's like really high tech and it's just really fun for the kids to see. It was like, so there, you turn on this light and then you put different domes on top and it has different outlines. So there's like countries and then illustrations of stars and then connecting the dots of stars. Um, we, did, uh, we looked at stars and um, a lot of other things, basically. Don't really know what else to say. We just like look at stars and like symbols and stuff, like Hercules and like that kind of stuff, like Percy Jackson movie. Yep. What did you learn in here? 
Um, like about the Greek mythology and like the signs and stuff. I learned that there's like, you can like see like stuff in like a lab and it's like realistic. Uh, we looked at constellations and uh, some zodiac signs as stars. Oh uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. I think it's, uh, it's a good way to get out of the hot zone. Uh, a lot of stars, zodiac signs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, like there's more zodiac signs than I thought there was. Okay. <laughs> It took a lot of sweat and a little bit of blood, not too many tears, but um, it was pretty fun. Uh, I got to hike with my friend Sky, but she kind of, she, she gave up a little halfway through, so I continued up. She's here now, but it was pretty tricky, um, tiring, but the view is absolutely priceless and I am so glad I could do it, so. In the beginning, honestly, I think the beginning was the hardest part. 
I like to climb things, so climbing the rocks is actually really fun. Um, but the view is so rewarding, I would definitely recommend it to anybody that can do it. It's really nice, like, um, it's definitely worth it. Um, it was really fun, and it was challenging, and the view is really worth it. What can you see from here? Um, I can see, there's a lot of trees, and the view is just really far, and it's really cool to see. I'm just tired, but it's like a cool view, so it's worth it. Identifying the trees and and like the plants and then we have to write them down in our book. <laughs> um, we found two trees. We found a sugar maple and a yeah. We're like observing different animals and insects and like trees and flowers. Um, we found uh, like mushrooms on trees and then we found a bunch of like different colored flowers. Um, but we haven't really found any birds. It's kind of hard. So far for flowers, we got grass with Parnassus and blue-eyed grass and a green darner for an insect. What kind of trees have you found? Uh, a red oak and a pitch pine. I'm decorating my uh, drawstring bag for camp. I'm making a bunch of designs to make it look like different than uh, everyone else's. Dragonfly, butterfly, um, a, like salamander, some kind of lizard. Um, I got a spider, and right now I'm making an O and an E for outdoor education. On the back, I have cabin A armadillos, and I have some favorite quotes of my friends. Oh, I put an earthworm because that's my cabin, and I put all my friends' names on it. Yeah. And my counselors. Like, she was, I did it. So we're decorating uh, drawstring bags from like all the stuff that we've been seeing at camp and all the stuff we've seen in nature. We're making watersheds and answering question answering questions about the watersheds. And we're learning about how pollution moves through the watersheds. How it can affect ecosystems and animals and soil. It can spread everywhere and it's not just like where it happens. And it's like teaching us where the water and the pollutions go when it rains. We have an open watershed because there's a lot of little streams that lead to just one bigger stream. What do you know about pollution? So like we like learned how like it flows down into like the water and it can like kill the organisms. Um, it's fun to like actually like do this stuff instead of just like learning. When you put the water in, what happens? Um, it like went downstream towards like the big lakes and ponds. Uh, it's about water pollution mm -hmm. and different kinds of things that happen in the water. Right. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We make watersheds um, like models to represent pollution and uh, how it affects water systems. The Adventure Course class is something I think the kids remember um, from their time at camp. It's an opportunity where they have some challenges when the group comes together and they achieve um, the obstacle or overcome, you know, the obstacle. It's just a really great sense of, you know, pride and determination that they work together.
This class is very uh, teamwork oriented. And if you're you're not working as a team, you're not going to make it through the challenges. What does it take to get through these? Uh, lots of bravery and like skill. Teamwork is good, and you gotta work with the team to get stuff done. I like how this class um teaches us about like uh, teamwork and how to get like use it and get it through like obstacles. I just like how it teaches us teamwork and we can work with our friends to get through obstacles. Yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, for this class, we're working together to get over obstacles as a team and like work on teamwork. So far, we're doing really well because we have a good bond of communication throughout the um, course. So yeah. It's a, it takes a lot of teamwork and effort with friends and stuff. Yeah. So you don't like have to communicate with each other. Yeah. 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 It was very hard, my hands hurt a lot, but with teamwork, um, with Kendra and Vinny and Jameson, we all got through it. Orienteering, so we have to use a compass to find our way through the woods. And have you, is, it, is it working? Pretty much. You found this one? Yep. You found it by using the compass? Yep. We have to step on all the sticks and stuff, but it's fun because it's my first time using a compass. And you found this? Yeah, we found A, and then we took that B over there. Interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, the, it's it's it's, it's kind of hard to find like where you're going, but once you kind of like find one, it's kind of easier to like find your way to the others. Okay. Well, there's a spider web. and you're gonna be using a compass to help find your way in la with landmarks. Did you find one yet? Uh, we have right here, and we just punched our hole. So far, I like being able to communicate with your group and use a compass to like find your way because nice. you could use right. this for survival skills. Um, I like just walking through the woods and seeing all the nature that there is to see. I mean, don't We're building a shelter out of like things that we have. Huh? How's it going? Pretty good. Just, uh, done here? Yeah. Um, pretty much. We just have to like make it so you can get in easier. We're building a shelter. Yep. How's it going? Pretty good. Is this gonna be uh, what they're looking for? Hopefully. I mean, they might not like that it's under a dead tree, but we really can't do anything about it. It's the only place we can find that there's no rocks. Uh, it's going pretty good. I am currently trying to smash this stick in the ground with this rock trying to make the middle go up while they tie it, while they tie the ends to the trees. It's really awesome to just work as a group with each other and uh, to find new ways to make things work out. Um, and I'm not looking at other people's ideas, but like seeing other people's ideas around here is also pretty cool. So it's really fun, especially to like just put things together and figure things out as a group. Yep. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, we're doing pretty good with it right now. You got flames? Yep. How'd you start it? Uh, we used flint and steel, and then we put some, some stuff on the cotton, like some uh, Vaseline on the cotton. And then uh, we started a fire, we just started sparks, and then it's like this, and now we're putting sticks on it to make it. And Lucas right now is like using the, using like wind to make it like spread out so we can put some sticks in it. We're learning how to light fires. How are you doing it? Uh, we're putting Vaseline on some cotton balls and then using flint and steel to light it. Mm -hmm. 
how to survive in the wild in case you get stuck out there. How'd you catch that fish? Um, I used my, I just wiggled it around a lot and then I really liked it. It's like boring waiting. So fishing is not something you're really enjoying? Or you're... No, I like fishing, but like, it's kind of like hard to do here, but it's like fun. Fishing's going really good, except I haven't caught in a fish yet. Uh, but a lot of other people have, so let's hope I catch a fish. That's Kelsey's fish, yeah. Kelsey, get in that photo. Kelsey, you caught that? Yeah. yeah you by yourself? Oh. Um, I'm doing pretty good, but like I didn't catch any fish yet. Is there a reason why you're casting here in the swamp? Because Riley caught a fish here, right? So I'm pretty so I thought I could get a fish here. Maybe I but I didn't get one yet. Maybe they maybe they went away. Um I like it that we're pretty much to ourselves and we can pretty much spread out and have our own space. So how many how many fish did you catch? None. None? Yeah. Not one. No. Did you get close to catching one? Yeah. Almost caught it. It was right near my hook, and then it just didn't get it. It got my worm, didn't get my hook. Catch a fish? Yeah. You did? What was it like? Uh, it was a largemouth bass. It was like that big. Did you, uh, is that was hard to do? I mean, I just caught it like five minutes ago, so it was kind of luck. But. Third place for the gentleman was Bodie and Gingrich.
the great things about the experience is kids have an opportunity to try not only different classes but different activities. So they have an opportunity to challenge themselves, um, overcome some uh, obstacles, uh, maybe even have setbacks but keep trying and they find that they really grow a lot. I think they learn a lot about themselves personally. I think they get to know a lot about each other socially. It gives a us a great opportunity for kids to just get all of the outside stuff away, the technology, and just really immerse them into the experiences for the week. There's a lot of things that make it memorable. I think uh, our teachers and our high school counselors have a really great impact on kids. They see their teachers in a different light out here. Our counselors have been through this as a seventh grader and now they're juniors and seniors and they're leaders out here to help them have a great experience and they make it a lot of fun. And then I think just again, the um, experiences help kids to have some in introspective about themselves, I think, uh, that they realize they can do things they didn't know they could do um, and overcome challenges they didn't believe that they could. In the father, since we know that a lifetime's not too long to live. This is the 44th year of the Outdoor Education Program, um, so there's a lot of things that have been the same. Over the 44 years, we certainly tweaked some things along the way, but the heart of the program, I think, is still intact, and I think that's what makes it so special, and the fact that we've had so many years of students being a part of that tradition in our community. But we really ask the students to focus on our Cougar pride out here at camp. Um, which is preparation, respect, integrity, determination, and empathy. And I think the variety of classes and activities and experiences they have really help them to learn a deeper meaning than what just they think the definition of those words are. So they get to really kind of live out those traits here at camp and hopefully become a better person and to grow a lot um, throughout the week. Bye, man!